I'm Jo and I have social anxiety. So being here with you now, I'm as terrified as my nan during her smear test with Harold Shipman. <laughs> Honestly, the last time I felt this much pressure, there was a lot more girth involved. <laughs> social anxiety does mean, however, that I had quite a nice time during lockdown. I couldn't get enough of it, truth be told. I was like Prince Andrew tucking into a stuffed crust at Pizza Express. <laughs> Oh, but I wasn't one of those people that were really productive with their lockdowns. I hate those people. You know those people. Trevor ran 70 miles a day and Trevor did it all on the spot in his kitchen because Trevor wasn't allowed outside. Yeah, and Trevor's a prick. <laughs> and what about Clive and Maureen? They married 37 years and decided to re-landscape the garden. Yeah, and they're now in the final stages of divorce. <laughs> You shouldn't have asked for that at Water Feature, should you, Maureen? <laughs> and then Audrey down the road. Audrey. Not only did this woman bake, kicks, bake cakes for all the neighbours, she also homeschooled the kids, she crocheted masks for everyone, she re-upholstered the couch, and she did it all on a Blossom Hill breakfast. <laughs> was there anything Audrey couldn't do? Well, yes, there was, as it happens. Audrey couldn't cope. <laughs> and... We don't talk about Audrey anymore. <laughs> Lounging around during lockdown wasn't so good for my waistline, though. Unfortunately. Oh, you don't know, you don't know just how squeezed into this outfit I am. <laughs> the compression vest and the waist trainer so tight, my organs are in places they've never been. <laughs> and currently I'm feeling my heart beating in my bladder. <laughs> and I'm so scared if I cross my arms, I'm gonna shit through my mouth. <laughs> Cause it's not easy. When you get to the wrong side of 30, as society so kindly puts it, you're also the wrong side of metabolism. <laughs> and I've tried every diet out there, all the diets going, all the fads. There was slim fast and slim even faster, now comes with more slim. Um, oh, there was the Cambridge diet, but I didn't get in. Um, <laughs> and there was, there was the raw food diet, but don't do it, because the chicken ain't up to much. <laughs> No, the most effective diet I was actually on was back in my 20s. It was very simple. It was a terrific diet. It was amazing. Results in an instant. It was a combination of junk food, manic depression and cocaine. <laughs> yes. I didn't sleep a wink during this diet. And even though I had a banging skinny bitch body, not even a Happy Meal could cheer up this miserable queen. <laughs> Which is where it was recommended that you supplement the diet with ecstasy for balance. <laughs> and if it wasn't for the adverse side effects of which I experienced many, the come downs, the mood swings, the death. Oh, and red lipstick is a no-go when you are gurning your own face off. Smudge, and now I've been given head to Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> I'll find a new diet, I'm sure. I'll find a new one. I've been chronically single for the best part of a decade now. And I know. And no, I, I will find a diet. I'm, it's been so long, I'm so worried that um, sex has had an upgrade and I just don't know anything about it. <laughs> but it's like riding a bike, they say, isn't it? You never forget. You simply get back on the cock and ride. <laughs> I'm made more aware of just how single I am because my mother was on Match.com for all of three days. Three days! <laughs> oh, and they've, they've booked the holidays, they've met the family, and um, they're currently updating the Kama Sutra, which I shall not be reading. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's off out living her best life. And I'm sitting there wondering, did she remember seatbelts and condoms like we discussed? <laughs> All the while, I'm sat indoors, just going through the array of dick pics I so generously and so kindly receive off Grinder. <laughs> they think, oh, lovely. And where's the rest? Oh. <laughs> and you could do with a fringe trim. 
sat indoors on my own isn't that bad though. Like I say, social anxiety, lockdowns, loved them. Loved it, couldn't get enough. So much so, furlough is actually my new favourite F word. <laughs> and believe you me, I was furloughed so hard. <laughs> I didn't get out of bed for days. <laughs> it was... <laughs> it was probably the most satisfied I've ever been in my bedroom, sadly. And, oh yeah, well, you remember in, remember in December when we had that emergency press conference with Boris that we were going back into lockdown and the nation, you people, went into a mad panic of how am I going to get home for Christmas? <laughs> Not me. Not even by a long shot. Oh no. I simply played that announcement on a loop and I reached for the KY jelly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boris. Boris, you animal, I love it when you talk like that. Say level four again. <laughs> Look me in the eye and say it again. <sighs> <sighs> now, Bojo, comb your fucking hair and get out of my room. Thank you so much. <laughs>